What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be running through optimizations that you can do on your computer to get your NVIDIA graphics card to work just a little bit better. Now, of course, for a lot of people, you'll find out that a lot of these settings that I'll show you in this video are very well known and or already the default for NVIDIA graphics cards. Why is this? Well, NVIDIA obviously wants to outperform competitors and so has very well tuned drivers, settings, etc. by default. However, if you're on a laptop or something optimized for power saving, your settings may differ drastically from what you see in this video. So whether you take a lot from it or a little bit, that really comes out of the computer that you have. But in general, following through with a guide like this should net you a couple of extra FPS. Though before we begin, a portion of this video was sponsored by Lenovo Legion. You're watching an optimization guide, which means that you want the best performance. Sign up for the Legion gaming community, link down below, join the discussion and reply to my thread to enter a giveaway for a gaming laptop. Winner will be announced at the end of October 2021. The Legion gaming community is a hub for Legion content, rewards and giveaways. So with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. To begin, obviously you want to make sure that your NVIDIA drivers are up to date and you're running everything great. If you use something like GeForce Experience, you can use that to update your driver. But if you're like me, I much prefer to download it off the internet as I don't like GeForce Experience. You'll find a link down below to this download page from NVIDIA. So as you may know, this looks a little bit different to the one you're used to. This is the driver download page and this is the advanced driver download page. I much prefer to use the advanced one as you can pick between standard and DCH drivers for Windows. The DCH ones are the new default that you'll find on the normal download page that come from the Windows Store and I just much prefer the old way of having things. Performance difference and the rest I haven't yet looked into. But me, like other people, I don't really like things that come from the Windows Store. Anyways, when you get to this page, enter your product type, product series, followed by product down here, and then make sure that you have Windows 10 64, 32, or Windows 11 checked here. When you're done, leave it as standard, whatever language, and click search. Then you'll see a bunch of results here, unlike the other search, which will just show you one or two. You'll have game ready drivers and studio drivers. Make sure to click the latest, the highest on the list, game ready driver. Then click download here, download once again, and the NVIDIA drivers will then download onto your computer. All you have to do is click in it to open it when it's done downloading. So I'll skip forward to then. Click OK and wait for the installer to extract. Then we can choose if we want GeForce Experience. I personally don't like it, so I'll be choosing not to get that here. Agree and continue. Custom, next. And I usually uncheck the HD audio driver as I never use the audio in my monitors. I have dedicated headphones for that. Next, now we simply need to wait for it to install. I quickly need to pause the recording and skip forward to when this install is done. And there we go. Clicking close, we're done with updating our NVIDIA drivers. So now that we're up to date and we should be getting the best performance possible in different games, let's get to optimizing our settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Right click your desktop and then click the NVIDIA control panel button here. Then you'll see a page that looks something like this. If you only see these top three options, don't worry, that's more common on laptops and netbooks. You'll only be able to follow through with a couple of different steps. What you should do here is make sure that use the advanced 3D image settings on the adjust image settings with preview page is set. Then you can click apply and we're able to finally tune different games instead of just choosing quality performance or balanced. Clicking take me there will take you down to the manage 3D settings tab on the left. Inside of here, we'll have a global settings tab that sets different settings for all programs on our computer, as well as a specific program settings tab here that allows us to choose certain applications and adjust them as we see fit. I would suggest adjusting the global settings tab first and then getting into find control for games if you need to change anything for any specific game. But the settings that we're gonna be putting in here work really well for basically all different programs. And of course, most of these settings will already be the default as NVIDIA is pretty well optimized as is. If you see anything that's different to mine, as in you have more options than mine, you'll need to use common sense to figure them out. I'm using a 10 series graphics card, so there won't be anything here about ray tracing, for example. If you're instead missing options that I have, don't worry, once again, use common sense to figure out which settings will give you more FPS or fewer. Anyways, I'll get to optimizing this and I'll quickly scroll through it so you can copy settings into your control panel. All right, so here's the top page. Scrolling down a bit, page two. And finally, the last section down here. Now, of course, most of these will already be defaults as it's pretty well optimized as is. With these new settings here, 
you should get a couple more FPS if you had any of these options set to, say, power saving, quality, etc. compared to before. Now, on the left-hand side, we'll be looking at the display section. Head across to change resolution if you see it here. Otherwise, you'll need to adjust these in Windows if you don't have these sections. For me, I'll select the correct monitor, my gaming center monitor over here, and I'll make sure that the resolution is set to the native option, the one that was written on the box and possibly on my screen, and the refresh rate is also set to that number. I have a 2K 2560 by 1440p monitor that has a refresh rate of 144Hz. Selecting both of these options here to match your display is incredibly important for the best looking gameplay that won't be blurry and of course high FPS. At the very bottom, we'll have color settings that you can usually leave as default, but you can adjust it as you feel fit. I for one usually pick full output dynamic range for all of my different monitors. Though of course, if you're confused with anything, at the very bottom you'll see a description for what exactly each option you're playing with does. Scrolling up, if you have any extra monitors, you should do the same for these as well. When you're done, click apply. And yes, don't worry if you messed up with the resolution and your screen's now black and you're not able to see, after a couple of seconds, as long as you didn't click yes, your screen should be reset to where it was before. Now, of course, if you have a G-Sync compatible display, you should head across to the set up G-Sync tab that you'll now see and enable G-Sync here. I enable it for both windowed and full screen mode, but you can leave it as just full screen if you prefer. Then on the adjust desktop size and position tab, we'll be adjusting scaling. Now, the settings that you have here will be different if you choose to play games in 4x3 stretched, for example. For me, I don't do any of that, so I could leave it at no scaling, or rather, aspect ratio. If you play 4x3 stretched, aspect ratio and no scaling may leave you with black bars, but if you have full screen, any aspect ratio that you pop onto your screen should be stretched to fit the full dimensions of your monitor. If you have scaling performed on your GPU, you could be losing a couple of FPS if you have a much older graphics card, though it's unlikely. If you have the option to set this to display, you may want to try that, especially if you are upscaling or stretching from 4x3 to full screen, etc. The results will vary depending on what kind of graphics card you have and your monitor, of course. At the very bottom, we have a preview for different resolutions. Do the same for your other monitors here. The size tab won't really be helpful unless you're trying to move the pixels around to try and fit the borders of your monitor better, etc, etc. I'll be ignoring this. If you have multiple displays, it's a good idea to visit the Set Up Multiple Displays tab where you're able to reposition them down here a lot finer than you are in Windows. If you like, of course, you can set up surround options for multiple displays. If you're like me and you have different resolutions, you have to make all three of these match before you're able to stretch them across. And finally, something more user preference is the color. On the left, head across to adjust desktop color settings and of course apply changes if anything pops up. We have a lot of settings here that you may want to adjust as a user. You'll be able to adjust the brightness, contrast, and gamma of all images on your screen all the time, as well as digital vibrance and hue down here. The only one you may want to mess with is the digital vibrance option here. Cranking this down from 50 will result in a more black and white image and up in a much more saturated, much more colorful image. I know a lot of people playing Counter-Strike, for example, have digital vibrance cranked all the way as they can, quote, see people better, but in all honesty, it just makes the game look a lot more colorful than the dull color palette that it usually is. On top of that, brightness and contrast, as well as gamma, you may want to adjust to see better at night times in games, for example. This is all up to user preference and shouldn't cost any FPS unless something's majorly wrong on your computer. But anyways, that brings our tutorial to a close. I'll click apply here and close out of the NVIDIA control panel. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno here for Troubleshoot. Once again, a portion of this video was sponsored by Lenovo Legion. Check the description down below to enter the giveaway for a laptop. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.